All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So today we tackle the August security patch update. I've had it installed for several days now, maybe a week or so, I'm not even sure. Uh, and I wanted to follow up on the performance of the device because these updates that they're pushing out are fairly small in size, like it's 20 megabytes of size. That's, I have pictures that are bigger than that. So they're doing some serious compression <laughs> when, it comes, when it comes to um, <laughs> put it, putting the, the updates on this device. So um, the, the device itself has been so beneficial. I'm going to talk about the performance and things in this, in this video. But first of all, if you haven't purchased the Surface Duo yet and you're still on the fence, I don't know what you're waiting for. All this talk about waiting for the Surface Duo 2, it doesn't exist yet. We, don't, we, don't, we only know rumors about that. So that's why you should, really shouldn't waste too much time depending on a rumor. Uh, because obviously the device is going to cost a lot and you got to consider the fact that are you going to be getting your money's worth by spending that seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars when you can just spend four hundred dollars. So you you take that for what you want to take it for. But I'll leave links down below so you can buy this by the Surface Duo right here. Uh, and then also, you really should consider picking up this Otter Box. This Otter Box is the best. I'll talk about that in, in, in a little bit. But uh, that is how I store my device. And I absolutely love it. So the August security patch. Um, it made my device, I mean, I don't know if it's the reboot or whatever, but it it, it really sped up the device uh, and it feels, and I haven't restarted it since then, but uh, it's 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 flowing. It's flowing right along. Some of the gestures are still kind of meh. You know, sometimes when I put it in this orientation, it does this right here. <laughs> That's what I was going to tell you. And I'm glad it doesn't. Now, it, does, it, didn't, it doesn't do that all the time, but they fixed the main gesture, which is this gesture. This gesture right here, sometimes the other screen will be on. As you can see, it's not on right now, but sometimes that screen will be on, and that's super frustrating because you're trying to do something on this side, and it's on that side. Now, they fixed that gesture. That hasn't, that hasn't happened since they fixed it. They fixed that gesture. Prob that's like the main gesture for this device, too, by the way. Uh, they fixed that probably three or four rotations back. Uh, for me, that is. I don't know when it got better for you, but overall, you, you should be able to switch to this side right here. And that's that, that's that, yeah. It's doing it a lot now that I'm recording. That's pretty strange, but the screen, the back screen is not on, as you can see there. It, it I normally uses both screens would stay on, uh, and that was a huge bug for me, and I, I was annoyed with it. But that orientation bug, that rarely happens, uh, and now that I'm recording, it's happening, like, every time. <laughs> but, hey, it is what it is. That's not a deterrent for me to say, oh, this device is horrible. It's, it, no. Uh, so... A lot of people have questioned uh, the camera performance. I have posted so many videos on the cameras. I'm not going to get into the cameras anymore. And I don't use Gcam either. Uh, I just use whatever is on here. I just use a stock stock app and it's perfectly fine for me. Uh, no, no, ish, no ifs, ands, or buts at all. It's perfectly fine. Now, on this page right here is some of my paid content. I mean, I genuinely watch movies. Um, YouTube should be over here because I have like all my <laughs> my uh, social media stuff over here, uh, over there. But m movies, oh man, media consumption. This device will kill in in this orientation, man. You are gonna love watching content like this, and then you can have a movie up top, and then have your email or text or chat down below. I'm telling you, it is so beneficial and it is so helpful to have two separate screens now i know that i have the the z fold 3 and the z flip 3 and i, I just know that this orientation is so much better than those because i have a bigger screen on for the movie uh so um you know having two separate screens this is something that just kills people they hate it so much it's you know they just can't get over it but in reality, having two separate screens like this, this is beneficial. This is more of what you would want. You will be able to play your movie like this in tent mode if you want to. It's, it's, this is what you should want. You should want a full size screen. This is what you should want. Uh, but some people, man, they just can't get over it and they are convinced that having this right here is a bad idea. And I tell you, after months and months of use, it is fantastic. It, it's something that you won't even think about. If you can get used to the crease down the middle of the Z Fold 3, you can get used to this or your or your current Samsung device. They all have the single layer thin glass on top and plastic or whatever. But 
if you can get used to that, you will kill with this. I'm telling you, you'll, you'll love having two individual screens. Not to mention a strong hinge down there. So anyway, I love uh, watching content like that. And I think the fact that this device can, can do that is important to me. Now, when you talk about the security patches that are coming through and what it's fixing, for me, I've noticed that when I open, you see how I opened it up and, and sometimes back in the other updates, this screen would continue to be black or, you know, whichever one that was super annoying. I, I was so annoyed with that. It was unbelievable that they couldn't get this right in the software. And I think the only true failure, because no device is flawless. The only true failure that this device faces is the RAM. They give a 128 gig option, they give a 256 gig option, which is more than enough memory for most people, uh, everybody really. Uh, and I gotta tell you, if it had eight, if, even if it just had eight gigs of RAM, this device probably would fly. But I think given the price, it's just a little bit less in price, if we're talking about the original retail, it's just a little bit less in price than the Z Fold and there is a 512 option for that. So this should have had, and I've had this discussion before, 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage for that $1,500 price tag, now you're talking, you know? Uh, and I think it would have been a completely different launch for them. Uh, and that's why now we have so many Surface Duals out here getting purchased now for 400 bucks because that's six gigs of RAM, people are willing to deal with it. And with all the improvements that they're making, you know, what if Android 11 genuinely brings this device to a speedy storefront? You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be interesting if this device does get Android 11. Now, that's the security patch for August. I'm flowing right along. Now, OtterBox. Listen, this, this, this OtterBox right here is absolutely great, folks. I know that it's a sleeve type deal, but... It's like a laptop bag, because that is what this is, a freaking laptop. Now, I think that when they made this OtterBox, they made it for the bumper to be installed, because if you don't have the bumper on, it is flopping around in there like crazy, son. It is it is flopping around. It's just not a good look. And so would it in this particular um, OtterBox, I mean, mine is holding up. It still looks brand new. No stitching has burst, and trust me, I have dropped this thing plenty of times like this, and I was so happy because I've seen lots of people drop theirs, and they don't have any kind of case on it. They just have the bumper, and it, they cracked it. They end up having to get a replacement, or they just cracked it, and they just have it. They put a skin on it or something, but and they're cracking it on the corner that doesn't have where the charging port is at. That's where a lot of people seem to be. It's landing, and it's cracking. It's cracking this back here, or it's cracking whatever, and so... I've dropped mine in this particular case multiple times and I just picked it up and kept going. It was it was great. No, no scratches, no nothing. Um, and the reason I like this is because it gives me a chance to take a break from my device. Too much of something that's not good for you. And so when you sit on social media all day uh, and you just don't go watch TV or just don't do anything, something's wrong. You really need to reconsider what you're doing with your day. So having this out of box when you're not working, because this is more of a business device, I would say, than the Z, Z um, Fold lineup uh, or the Galaxy Note lineup. This is more of a um, business device uh, because of what you can do with it. And a lot of people use Microsoft Teams and uh, th there's just a lot going on here. And when you, when you wanna get done with your day and you wanna put it away, bars, you wanna put it into something that's gonna protect it. So I'll leave a link to the Surface Duo down below and this OtterBox down below where you can grab this. You need to grab this as soon as possible, folks. I'm telling you, uh, this is a good, this is also the best looking case that I've seen for the for the Surface Duo in my, in my opinion. Uh, all the other cases that you have where it's not in, in not a sleeve, they don't allow you to flip the device back. So that's pointless to me. The point of, the purpose of having this is to be able to go 360 like this. I want to do this. I don't want to not be able to do that. And all those cases stop right here. This is, a, this is a, they don't let you fold it all the way open. So that's, that's silly to me. But nonetheless, here we are. The Surface Duo August patch 
If you don't have it by now, something's wrong. This device is great. Even with the mild flaws that it has, um, you know, it's it's fantastic to me. So it has great battery life. Cameras are decent, not the best. Software still needs a little bit of work to bring it up to what I like. Um, and so, yeah, I'm I'm rolling with it, man. I, I think it's great. The, the multi multitasking on here is ridiculous. I mean, you, you just won't get a better multitasking experience, man. You just won't. So, Shaman J, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.